I use these films to help people understand that dogs are neither good nor bad, people are neither good nor bad, they're brought up in an environment where uh, I asked the head of the gypsies once in California when he was there, I said, are the gypsies really permitted to steal? He said, yes. I said, I didn't know that. Where do you get that from? He, he, I didn't criticize him. He said, well, years ago, when they crucified Christ, the gypsies stole the pegs that they crucified him with, and they delayed the crucifixion, and they were given the right to steal. That's what he was taught when he was a kid. So, if you ask, if you don't inquire into people where they got that from, how they, some, most of them say, I don't know. But there are people that know where it came from. Yeah. So when you say, uh, you know, I'm a Frenchman, and another man says, oh, vive la France, you know. And you say, I'm a Nazi, oh, I'm glad to hear that. I used to go to Nazi meetings. They always had American flag and the swastika and they would talk about their philosophy. Their philosophy was based upon their opinions, no research or work. That's why I re rejected it. They said, we want a pure race. There can't be a pure race, because over the centuries, different people invaded countries and raped the women, and you can't have a pure Jew, pure Italians. There's no such thing. Over the millions of years a man has been on Earth, there's been invasions, rape, everything. So. You're never pure anything. You understand? Yes, yes. All right. People don't know that. Somehow they're not taught those things. So the movies of the future, there'll be no soap operas except during the transition. Every soap opera is a, is a you know, the same kind of shit people see today. But in the soap opera, the kid says, Daddy, I want to study social psychology. He says, what's that? It shows a little bit of what it is. So every soap opera is a manipulating machine to bring people around to a new way of thinking. Although we use the old soap opera format in it as turning devices. Then we have a movie on the future. And in this movie, people are sitting in a home and they're looking at a full wall television. And they say, boy, we got sound around, full wall, we have everything. And then they say, we have everything, bingo, it fades out and stereoscopic movies come on. There's no such thing as everything. Everything keeps changing. We use movies to show people that the guy used to drive a horse and wagon, that a guy got an automobile, it broke down, get a horse, you know. Uh, if man was meant to fly, he'd been born with wings. If man was meant to wear clothing, he'd have been born with clothing, or live in the house, you know. There are always people that say that man was not meant to fly, man was not meant to do this. Well. You're not meant to shave either. Mm -hmm. And the religions that don't shave, it's a sin to shave. And some religions are, are believe man was put here on earth to worship God. That's all I'm praying. How great thou art. God is wonderful. God is everything. They believe that in the, in the Middle East. And they pray five times a day. They fall on the ground. When we went to Dubai, they didn't pray that day. They forgot. They said, you were so interesting, you <laughs> forgot to pray. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, uh, I, well, I wasn't well. there long enough to turn them around. I was taken on a trip to see Dubai. They brought me there to design the tallest building in the world. I said, what for? It's all for ego. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to go into that too much. But you understand how I worked on the clan now? Regarding the research center, we'd like to know, uh, we noticed that you, uh, you're you thinking of selling the research center yes. business, and um, where... The, the where rent and electric bills are about 5000 a month, yeah. and we can't afford that. Yeah. We don't get that much support. Yeah. So I, I don't want to sell it, I'd rather keep it. I used to support it financially with my work. I had an architectural rendering and model business. Yeah. Jack yeah. taught me how to do all that. Okay. And um, when the mortgage crisis hit, that was the last time I've had a job. So we can't maintain it anymore because we get no outside support. There has been some donations since I got to Dendam, but not any place near the amount that it takes to keep that going. Well, I, I told you so it takes me yourself. two and a half years to make the models for a movie, yeah. which you saw there. Uh, 
and we got to have model building facilities, we got to shape plastics, and we can't do that without in the monetary system without support. Yeah. And there's no fat guy with a cigar that says, yeah. what do you need? That would be nice. Yeah. But since we didn't have that, we used everything we earned. And she we did all the cement the work on all the building. She did all the, I did the structures of the buildings. So we put up all the buildings ourselves. Yeah. Then we I planted 5,000 trees. I dug holes, put in fruit trees, oranges, bananas, grapefruit, and made the place look like a tropical garden. And people say, how did you find that place? We didn't find it, we made it. Roxanne and I built everything there. And to show people that you can have nature, beauty, and high tech without destroying each other. We even That's why our we own built books. it. Yeah. You know, we make everything, we, we finance everything. We, yeah. we still do. With our own earnings. Yeah. So it's not that you have any ideas on what you're going to do with the, the purchasing power? Oh, with that? Yeah. Well, that's whatever we make from the sale of the land, we have to travel around, look for where we want to live, build something else, and live the rest of our lives on it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's minimal when you think of that. Yeah. 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 And take care of our health needs and, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like we can build a center with that. No, 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 no. unfortunately not. But we try and move someplace where we can build a, maybe Somewhere something the with more, well, we got more room where the power. people can come. We can't yeah. pay the electric bills, they're too high. Yeah, yeah. it's just too expensive. But we can't afford solar. So the question is, if we get a donation, say, of, of $3,000, we buy a camera, that's the cost of high-definition camera. Yeah. Our films have to look good, professional. It can't be a backyard film where you're holding your camera. That's what we did with the funding from the Zeitgeist um, donations that we had just gotten since the film came out. We can't live off those donations. We can't pay the electric bills because it's not set up that way. We can't maintain do anything on our land. Buildings. But we did buy computers, oh. new cameras, lighting, which we needed, and to do more films. That's great. So that's what we've done with the donations. Yeah. A lot of people ask, you know, can we see what you how much money you have, what you're doing uh, with it? We're not allowed legally to live off of it. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. So people say it's to us. It's a non profit uh, organization. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're donating just, to. We would just love for you to keep going on this project and have somewhere else to do well, it. Well, any place we move to, we'll be working on it. We would never stop. Yeah. yeah. Any I place see. in the world is the same to me since I'm international in my point of view. But I will turn them around wherever we're at to there understand that it's like not a. It's not exposure. women's rights or black rights or Jewish rights. All humans need access to all the necessities of life. Do you understand that? Yeah, Stop working for black rights, Jewish problems, Irish problems. I don't want, that's dividing people. Problems. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, we want to bring people together. So in our schools, we have blacks, orientals, and the kids grow up with them. So the kids don't have any bias. It's the parents that say, you don't play with that goddamn Jew. You don't exactly. play with that goddamn Irish kid. The parents poison their kids. They don't mean to, but that's the way they're brought up. I'm not mad at the parents. I understand where they're coming from. I don't want to put them in jail or kill them. I want to make movies to turn the parents around, to show them that they're French, but they're alive because of Louis.